वेलकम बैक माय सेल नमिता अमृतकर एंड टुडे वी विल बिलीव इन टू की सॉर्टिंग टर्मिनोलॉजी वी विल बिलीव इन टू की सॉर्टिंग टर्मिनोलॉजी नेमली इंटरनल एंड एक्सटर्नल सॉर्टिंग एज वेल एज स्टेबल एंड अनस्टेबल सॉर्टिंग अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस कंसेप्ट इज क्रुशियल फॉर सिलेक्टिंग द राइट सॉर्टिंग अलगोरिथम फॉर अ गिवन प्रॉब्लम सॉर्टिंग इन डेटा स्ट्रक्चर इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ रीअरेंजिंग अ कलेक्शन ऑफ एलिमेंट इन अ स्पेसिफिक ऑर्डर सच एज न्यूमरिकल वैल्यू अल्फाबेटिकल ऑर्डर और अ क्रोनोलॉजिकल सिक्वेंस टू मेक देम इजियर टू सर्च और रिट्राई और मैन्यूपुलेट इफिशियंटली नाउ वी डिस्कस अ डिफरेंट सॉर्टिंग टर्मिनोलॉजी इंटरनल सॉर्टिंग इंटरनल सॉर्टिंग रेफर टू सॉर्टिंग डेटा दैट कैन बी फिट एंटायरली विद इन द कॉम्प्यूटर्स मेन मेमरी इन दिस टाइप ऑफ सॉर्टिंग द एंटायर डेटा सेट to be sorted is loaded into the memory and sorting operation are performed using the available memory that means we don't required extra memory since memory access is significantly faster than accessing external storage devices internal sorting algorithm tend to be more efficient in terms of speed example of internal sorting is bubble sort quick sort merge sort now we will focus on external sorting external sorting is used when the data set to be sorted is too large to fit entirely in memory in this scenario data set must be read from the and return to external storage such as hard drives external sorting aims to minimize the number of input or output operation and efficiently use available memory buffer to manage the sorting process example of external sorting algorithm include merging sort multi way merge sort external merge sort next one stable sort stable sorting algorithm maintain the relative order of record with equal keys this is important in scenario where the order of equal element must be preserved for instance when sorting a list of employees by age if two employees have the same age their order relative to each other remain the same in stable sort merge sort bubble sort insertion sort all these are stable sort in place sort in in place sorting algorithm uses constant space for producing the output it sort the list only by modifying the order of element within the list selection bubble insertion all these are in place sorting as they do not use any additional space for sorting list a typical implementation of merge sort is not in place sort let's learn about bubble sort techniques bubble sort is a simple sorting algorithm that repeatedly step through the list compare adjacent element and swap them if they are in the wrong order this process is repeated until the list is sorted by bubble sort is easy to implement and understand it is inefficient for large data set due to its time complexity the time complexity of the bubble sort is order of n square and the space complexity is order of 1 as it only require constant amount of additional memory bubble sort is a stable sorting algorithm meaning it preserve the relative order of equal element in bubble sort algorithm travels from left and compare adjacent element and the higher one is placed at right side in this way the largest element is moved to the right most end at first this process is then continue to find the second largest and place it on so until the data is sorted let's walk through an example of bubble sorting here is the list which contains 5 3 8 4 and 2 elements we will sort this list step by step showing how bubble sort works here is our initial list is 5 3 8 4 2 we shall start by comparing and swapping adjacent element if they are in the wrong order that means we compare 
first element with second element, second with third, third with fourth and fourth with fifth and so on. In the first pass, we compare and swap adjacent element if needed. Compare 5 and 3. Swap them to get the 3, 5, 8, 4, 2. Compare 5 and 8. No swap needed. Now compare 8 and 4. Swap them to get 3, 5, 4, 8, 2. Compare 8 and 2. Swap them to get 3, 5, 4, 2, 8. In the second pass, we again compare and swap adjacent element. Where to compare 3 and 5. No swap needed. Compare 5 and 4. We get 3, 4, 5, 2, 8. Compare 5 and 2. Swap them to get 3, 4, 2, 5, 8. In the third pass, we continue comparing and swapping. Compare 3 and 4. No swap needed. Compare 4 and 2. Swap them and then we get 3, 2, 4, 5, 8. In the fourth pass, we make the final comparison and swap. Compare 3 with 2. Swap them and then we get 2, 3, 4, 5, 8. After completing this process, our list now sorted. Now it becomes 2, 3, 4, 5, 8. This example illustrates how bubble sort repeatedly compares and swap adjacent element until the entire list is sorted. Hope you get this. Now we will learn about insertion sort. In insertion sort, the simple sorting algorithm that works by building a sorted array one element at a time. It is a considered as in place sorting algorithm meaning that it does not require any additional memory space beyond the original array. Now we have to learn the algorithm of insertion sort. To achieve insertion sort, we have to follow the, these steps. We have to start with second element of the array and assume that first element in the array to be sorted. Compare second element with the first element and check if the second element is smaller than, then we have to swap them. Move to the third element and compare with the second element. Then the first element and swap as necessary to put it in the correct position among the first three elements. Continue this process comparing each element with once before and swapping as needed to place it in the correct position among the sorted elements. Repeat until the entire array is sorted. The complexity of insertion sort is order of n square. Now we discuss how insertion sort work. Consider an array having element 23, 1, 10, 5, 2. In the first pass, current element is 23. The first element in the array is assumed to be sorted. The sorted part until at 0 index is 23. Second pass, compare 1 with 23. Since 1 is smaller, insert 1 before 23. Now our list becomes 1, 23. In the third pass, compare 10 with 1 and 23. The third element is 10, so we have to compare with 23 and 1. Since 10 is greater than 1 and smaller than 23, insert 10 between 1 and 23. Now our sorted list 1, 10, 23. In the fourth pass, compare 5 with 1, 10, 23. Since 5 is greater than 1 and smaller than 10, so insert 5 between 1 and 10. The sorted part until the third index is 1, 5, 10, 23. Now, in the fifth pass, we have to come, we have to compare 2 with 1, 5, 10 and 23. This element we want to sort it, so 2 is compared with 1, 5, 10 and 23. Since 2 is greater than 1 and smaller than 5, insert 2 between 1 and 5. The sorted part until the fourth index is 1, 2, 5, 10, 23. In the final array, we get this array is sorted. Since we can say that insertion sort 
will place the particular element at a particular position then to check it is sorted or not. Now we explore selection sort. In selection sort, the smallest value among the unsorted element of the array is selected in every pass and insert to its appropriate position into the array. It is also the simplest algorithm. It is an in-place comparison sorting algorithm. In this algorithm, the array is divided into two parts. First is sorted part and another one is the unsorted part. Initially, the sorted part of the array is empty and the unsorted part is given array. Sorted part is placed at the left while the unsorted part is placed at the right. Now we have to learn about how it, the algorithm will be work for the selection sort. Select first element as a minimum element. We assume that the first element is minimum element. Compare minimum element with the second element. If the second element is smaller than minimum, assign the second element as a minimum element. Now compare minimum with the third element. Again, if the third element is smaller, then assign minimum to the third element. Otherwise, do nothing. The process goes on until the last element. The time complexity for the selection sort is order of n square. Let's walk through an example of selection sort using the list. We have initial list is 5, 3, 8, 4, 2. We shall sort this list step by step to understand how selection sort work. Here initial list we are already told 5, 3, 8, 4, 2. We will start by finding the smallest element in the list and swapping it with the first element. In the first iteration, we find the smallest element in the list from index 0 to 4, which is 2. We swap 2 with first element 5. Now we look like the list is 2, 3, 8, 4, 5. In the second iteration list, we find the smallest element from index 1 to 4, which is 3. Since 3 is already at index 1, so there is no swap is needed here. Now list remains 2, 3, 8, 4, 5. In the third iteration, we find the smallest element from index 2, which is 4. We swap 4 with the element at index 2, which is 8. The list now look like 2, 3, 4, 8, 5. In the fourth iteration, the new list, we find the smallest element from index 3 to 4, which is 5. We swap 5 with the element at index 3, which is 8. Now, the list look like 2, 3, 4, 5, 8. After completing this iteration, our uh, now list is sorted. This example illustrated how selection sort repeatedly find the smallest element and swap it with the first unsorted element. Now we learn the next techniques merge sort. Merge sort is a popular sorting algorithm known for its efficiency and stability. It follows the divide and conquer approach to sort a given array of an element. We can say that the process of merge sort is to divide the array into two halves sort each half and then merge the sorted half back together. This process is repeated until the entire array is sort. The time complexity of the merge sort is order of n log n when the array is sorted in reverse order. Let's walk through an example of merge sort using the list 5, 3, 8, 4, 2, 7, 6 and 1. We shall sort this list step by step to understand how merge sort work. Here our initial list I have already told you it is 5, 3, 8, 4, 2, 7, 6 and 1. Merge sort works by repeatedly splitting the list into halves until each sublist contains a single list. Then merging those sublists to produce the sorted list we can start by splitting the list into two halves. It becomes 5, 3, 8, 4, first one and the second one is 2, 7, 6, 1. Now, 
we spill this sublist further. 5, 3, 8, 4 becomes 5, 3 and 8, 4. 2, 7, 6, 1 splitting it becomes 2, 7 and 6, 1. We continue splitting until each sublist contain a single element. 5, 3 becomes 5 and 3. 8 and 4 becomes 8, 4. The list split 2, 7 into 2 and 7. The split the list 6, 1 into 6 and 1. Now, at last, we get the splitting 5, another list, 3 another in another list, 8, 4, 2, 7, 6 and 1. Like that. After splitting, now, we start merging the sublists back together in second order. Merge 5 and 3 into 3, 5. We have to check 5 is greater than 3. Therefore, we have to new list is 3, 5. Same for merge the list 8 and 4 into 4, 8. Merge the list 2 and 7 into 2, 7. Merge the list 6 and 1 into 1, 6. We continue merging 3, 5 and 4, 8 are merged into 3, 4, 5, 8 and 2, 7 and 1, 6 are merged into 1, 2, 6, 7. Finally, we merge the two sorted sublists 3, 4, 5, 8, 1, 2, 6, 7 into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. After completing the merging process, our list is now sorted. This example illustrate how merge sort, sort split the list into smaller sublist, sort each sublist and then merge them to produce a sorted list. Now we'll move to quick sort. Quick sort is a sorting algorithm based on divide and conquer algorithm that pick up an element as a pivot and Partition the given array around the pick pivot by placing the pivot in its correct position in the sorted array. Algorithm for quick sort. First, pick a pivot element, any element you can pick it. After that, partition or rearrange the array into two subarray such that each element in the left subarray is less than or equal to the pivot element. Each element in the right subarray is larger than pivot element. Recursively sort two subarray with quick sort and then combine the already sorted array. Time complexity for the quick sort is order of n square. Now we learn about the working of quick sort. Consider the array which contains the element 10, 80, 30, 90, 40, 50 and 70. We choose 70 as a pivot value. So put smaller element to the left side of the pivot and all the greater element to the right side of the pivot. Partition is done recursively on each side of the pivot after the pivot is placed in its correct position. And this finally sorted the array. Thank you for your attention.